Bring it. Got something in the mail. I just realized this is laying here. I'm editing this video. <laughs> this is our new Mossberg um, 500 uh, 410 cylinder bore. Yeah, it's nice. That's going to be cool, isn't it? And it came with this uh, as a persuader or whatever. This is the grip that was on there. Nice. I think that's a bit thuggish just to have a pistol grip. I know what I mean. I know well, there's a purpose for it. You know, it's supposed to be a trunk gun or whatever, but uh, I want to be able to shoulder it and shoot it accurately. So, you know, there's a big scheme here. We're making bullets and <laughs> we got our 14 shotgun. We're almost ready for a real video. But anyway, this is to do with my uh, SDI gunsmithing course. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Is it under the light now? <laughs> and so I had been wanting a really good uh, bits, uh, screwdriver bit set. And I did a little research and it looked like for the money, this Wheeler 89 piece was good. So I thought we'd just open it right quick and take a look at it. Um, looks like it's already been opened, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Somebody opened my toolbox already. Uh, probably not, just shipping. So, I guess I could move the shotgun out of the way. Huh. <laughs> so, let me move that out of the way too. Well, that was brow, wasn't it? Ah, I guess that goes up there. I guess that's a sticker. Yeah, that's a sticker. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Wow, they didn't just go ahead and stick that on in China while it was there. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who makes these? Who makes these? Taiwan. Mm. Yeah, it says made in China, actually. I see it. Does it? <laughs> the sticker was made in China or the tools were made? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is supposed to be a special uh, set because it has these, uh, I don't remember what all. It has like a Glock, Glock sight tool. There's all kinds of things you just have to read about um what here we go specialty <laughs> that's funny right here um there's a weaver uh scope ring tool uh windage uh, for a uh, leupold windage those are the biggest bits i've ever seen i know it's funny there's a mauser stock bolt bit there's your a pin a tiny pin punch uh, just all kinds of stuff. There's the Glock replacement front sight. And just your normal number two Phillips <laughs> bit. <laughs> but you you know, you in a bit the I think the point of that is is that these are these bits are hollow ground, uh, which means they, they're not wedge, they flatten out at the screw, right? And for gunsmithing that's what you want. You don't want your typical wedge, like a typical bit would just be wedged from, you know, from here to the tip, right? And then when you stick it in the, the screw head, it might, it might ruin the screw head, you know, the, and the, the reason there are so many bits in here is because you want to f check, um, uh, you want to use the one that fits perfectly. So you won't damage the bit or the screw head. It will apply the force. In the, in the proper way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, hey, this, that was loose. Where does that go? Hmm. Looks like it goes right there, dude. Where? Oh, duh. Where it was? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so it looks like we got a straight. Uh, what's the difference? Just the length? Is that the only difference? Yeah, I guess just a long one and a short one. And then, what is this? This is like an adapter. Yep. Okay. Kind of thingy. So, anyway, I'm excited to finally have a decent 
Got some Torx bits. There's some, some more Phillips bits. Pretty nice, dude. Um, this will not go in the back of the truck. I'm sorry. This <laughs> this is dedicated to gunsmithing. Mm -hmm. You know how we have our, our driver set in the back of the truck. It's all yeah. unorganized and just, just throw it in the back. This will, um, this will remain in here. I wish I had a drawer big enough. You know, maybe we can clean out a drawer and get it in there. Looks like it'll fit. And that'll be very cool. So let's just give them a close in look, Barrett. And I'm sure you guys have seen these, but this is an, a recent set. If you, um, <clears throat> if you've had one of these for a long time, you'll get to see how they're being sent out now. So Barrett, you think I can, you think I'm brave enough to try to put the sticker on and not screw it up? You're an artisan, Dad. <laughs> I'm not an artisan of stickers. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the idea would be to start, kind of set it on there straight. On those little tabs on the bottom and just let it roll up. Over that like little, I said, over that little bump. Bad. <laughs> I got lucky. Press all the air bubbles out of it. I'm gonna call that guy in China and ask him why he couldn't put the sticker on for me. But anyway, I like it. It's gonna be cool. Oh, I just noticed. Look, little spare part tray there and everything. Yeah. Or I guess while you're working on something, you can use it for a temporary storage bin. Pretty cool.